Hello everyone, I'm Victoria Shogren, and I chose to do my issues analysis video on materialism and how this impacts the family today. So my first source is Family Structure, Materialism, and Compulsive Consumption by Eric Ridferson, James E. Burroughs, and Frank Denton. And in their research, they found that children of divorce have, higher need, have a higher need to have materialistic things to feel satisfied emotionally. The article mentions that this is typically due to the mother having a lesser income than the father. And then she is also the one who typically um, must support her children on her own with little to no help from the father. Um, and then this means that she will normally have to get uh, two jobs or more to support her family, which means that she won't be there for her children um, as much emotionally since she's having to work. And in the article, Richens and Dawson states that material values are associated with low self-esteem, dissatisfaction with one's life, and an insatiable desire for a higher income. In allphilosophy.org, American materialism mainly talks about the influence that materialism in terms of technology has had on the family unit. And so now we have everything at our fingertips, um, thanks to computers and our phones and TVs. Um, we're gonna do research, pay our bills, watch shows or movies, we're all at the comfort of our own home. And then um, this has created a disconnection in the family though, because instead of talking with each other and having real conversations about each other's lives and what's going on, uh, we're all sitting in front of the TV or in our own rooms, watching our own shows or on social media or whatever the case may be. So this has led to more teen suicide, depression, divorce, and the disintegration of the family. And then in the article, Six Steps to Curb Materialism in Your Kids by Ron Lieber, he, Ron, Ron Lieber discusses a study done over a six week or an eight week time period. Um, 71 families participated in the study, half were a control group, and the non-control group was told to implement six steps over eight weeks. Um, and after the eight weeks, the children of the families who went through and implemented the six steps had lower scores of materialism and higher, and they had higher self-esteem, which actually um, goes with what the article, the family structure, materialism and compulsive consumption stated that people who have a uh, materialistic mindset have lower self-esteem. So, um, yeah, so the, the in this study, um, the families who implemented the six steps had lower self-esteem, or I mean higher self-esteem than those who did not. Um, so, and they were tested again after eight months with the six steps um, continuing in their lives and continuing to be implemented. And they showed that they had still had lower scores of materialism. And the six steps were allowance. So you, you have your kids have an, a, a savings account, a giving account, a spending account. Then you also have conversations with your children about spending money and things like that. Um, and so you include them in what's going on with the, the money in your family to a sense. Um, that way they can learn what that's like. And then the third step is um, wants versus needs. So you want to go on vacation this year. Um, so instead of, uh, you don't need to live in a mansion, you can instead live in a um, modest home. And so the fourth step is why and how they are spending or giving and how they feel afterwards, which I think is a big thing to teach your children because giving, um, is a great thing and you feel a lot of joy from that and um, it also teaches them smart spending so if they made a, if they made a bad spending decision they can um, recognize that and um, maybe take some time to make smarter spending decisions and then the fifth step is having a money mentor um, maybe it's a person or a family who has budgeted well in the past um, and then the sixth step is to keep the conversation going with your children um, which I think is important as well. Just keep adjusting that. All right. Well, thank you guys. Have a good night.